Dana White is certainly no friend of the mainstream media, and typically he's more than willing to share his thoughts on that. So he went on the Pat McAfee show while they're in Vegas for the Super Bowl. He had some things to say specifically about the mainstream media, and it's ironic that he was on ESPN when he did so. Dana White says politicians and the media are the two most hated people in this country right now. And ironically enough, as he's going on there, as he's on the Pat McAfee show, as he's slamming the mainstream media, ESPN, the channel that's hosting Pat McAfee, cut to commercial. I can't even make that up. Now, with that being said, there is kind of a legitimate reason to it. If you watch a Pat McAfee show, you know they have hard cuts at certain time limits. This was the seven minutes before the hour, I believe. They were heading right up to the break when they did go to that forced commercial. However... It certainly didn't stop people from noticing what ESPN did. Let's let's watch some of this right here. He's allowed to say what he wants. Your your relationship though with the media and the way you guys have handled everything. So just like this is how we're doing it. Do not care. Keep it moving. Yeah. Feels like you and the media are a better relationship now. I don't. I wouldn't say that. Huh? Yeah. I wouldn't right? say that. Coming together. Uncle Dana. No, no, no. It's, listen. You know what? If you notice, I really haven't been doing any media. I do podcasts, man. I'll do podcasts. I'll come hang with you. You know, lots of this is lots of people. Oh, sorry, yeah. lots of people want to talk to you because you're not the media. Um, you know, it, it, and I do think it's interesting that even with Pat McAfee moving to ESPN, we've certainly seen a public fight, right? The public fight, the the internal stuff that's going on between Pat McAfee and some people at ESPN that don't like the way he does stuff. We certainly saw a reaction from his fan base when he made the announcement. But still to a lot of people, whether it's players, whether it's people like Dana White, they still see Pat McAfee not as a guy who's with the mainstream media, even though he's on the biggest mainstream sports channel. You're not coming on podcasts and people that you want to have open discussions with. There's not any gotcha moments. There's no there's no um, agendas, you know, there, there, there's no uh, clickbait and, and, uh, and all the all the bullshit that goes on with the media. The media, yeah. the media right now. You got this, buddy. You got it. It immediately, look at that, immediately cuts to commercial. Now, again, I think it's 153 Eastern. Like, if you're familiar with the Pat McAfee show, you know that. Probably because he went on that rant, they weren't able to give the normal outro they do, but they did continue this on YouTube. It aired on ESPN+. Plus. It just on the main ESPN channels when it cuts to commercial. But how ironic is it that while Dana White is sitting there about to really lay into the media, they cut to commercial like this. Pat McAfee did make sure to get the rest of this out here. So let's uh, see if we can catch up where we were. Clickbait and, and, uh, and all, the, all the bullshit that goes on with the media. The media, yeah. the media right now. This is about right where we stop, right where they would cut to commercial. He made sure to tweet this out. The two of the hatest, most hated people in this country right now are the politicians and the media. Yep. Right? Are you getting into that? Politics? Hell no. Hell no. You are though, kind of. I'm not. Everybody thinks right. I am. My, my relationship with Trump is a 20-year relationship. I've been friends with this guy for 20 years. And when he shows up to the fights, this isn't something that's whatever. The guy's a fight fan. He's been a fight fan. The first fight, that when we first bought the UFC, this is impossible for people to wrap their heads around now. Venues didn't want us. Now you're one, you're just, one of you guys just asked me about venues. We've been to all the biggest venues in the world. We broke all the records. Venues didn't want us when we started. Trump called and said, come to the Trump Taj Mahal. We'd love to have you. You know, and that's what started this 20-something year relationship. That so there's Dana White, right, going in on the mainstream media, talking about why he goes on podcasts, why he only talks to people that he wants to talk to, why he really shies away from the typical mainstream media. Really, the only interactions we see between Dana White and those guys are when he's up there doing press conferences now. When they try to trap him this way or that way, he ends up blowing them the fuck out. But certainly, it, a lot of people notice that right as he's going in on the media, ESPN has their hard cut to commercial. Again, if you've watched the show, you might have a better understanding of why it happened then. But still, pretty fucking ironic. What do you think of Dana White laying into the mainstream media while actively on ESPN? Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.